Now, boys, what's going on? This is Yorkie here, and welcome back to another episode of this Inter Milan career mode. And today, we've got some massive games. If you didn't see the last episode, you missed out. It was absolutely insane. We had a crazy Champions League tie and a first leg of the cup, which I didn't even realize that the cup had legs. We are currently top of the table as well. We've recovered from Atalanta. They've gone on this horrendous run of form. I have no idea how this has come about, but I'm going to take advantage of it as much as humanly possible. Seven losses. And I believe since we played them and beat them when they had no losses, they've managed to lose six times in that time period. So in around the space of a month, They've got seven losses. Should not, though, that AC Milan are our rivals aren't that far behind. Only two points behind us. The team are playing really well, but we do have to pay attention at everything else that's going on. We've got Juve second leg in the cup where we lead 1-0. I scored a dramatic late winner, celebrated as if we'd gone through to the final and realised, no, it was two legs. The away tie as well, so it might be quite difficult. We also take up PSG. We drew 2-2 in the first one. To be honest with you, this season, if we don't go further in the Champions League, I won't be too gutted. It's going to be a tough task. They were really difficult to play against. Mbappe and Messi caused me absolute nightmares. Weirdly, Wijnaldum caused me a lot of issues as well. Now, before we get into the game, so if you are new around here and you haven't already smashed the subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it, as well as hitting the like button. If you go on to enjoy the video, remember to leave comments on feedback of what we should do in the summer we're going to have a big summer coming up i'm hoping that inter milan are going to give me a huge budget we're at least going to get two seasons out of this career mode of course we play this one a lot quicker than the salford one we go at a much faster pace there has been a title update as well so i was going to release a video with the sliders that we're using for these ultimate career modes that we're doing at the moment but there's been a new patch so i tweaked the sliders for the last patch which was awful and then there's been quite a quick fire one which is making me think They'll have fixed all the things that were awful in the last patch. We'll find out as we play some games. Now, I feel like we should play this Atalanta game to kick off the episode because if we do win it, we will put ourselves three points ahead of them. Now, we do have a player returning from injury as well. Akan will be back in the starting 11 soon, which is really good news. Although Correa has done brilliantly at Cam and so has Barella being moved to Cam. He's actually played fantastically. I think he might end up actually seeing a lot more time at Cam. I've been really impressed with his performances. Now, in the Salford series, if you haven't seen it, it's on the channel. Go and watch it. In the Salford series, we've gone to five minutes. I'm going to try this match at four minutes and still see if there's enough going on. I think maybe because we have a better team with Inter, there might be enough going on highlight-wise in a match for us to stay at four minutes. I want to see what a patch is like. So we've got all that to figure out, but we are going to pick the lineup here. And I very much want to win this match, but I have picked the starting 11 based on the fact that in two days' time, we play Juve with the potential of getting to a final. Now, we still have a chance to win the league, even if we lost this. They've got Dries Mertens starting up top as well. I didn't know Atalanta had Dries Mertens now. That must be... That's definitely something that happened in game, right? But nonetheless, we managed to get the better of Atalanta last time out, and I'm hoping to do the same. I am starting Sanchez up top, which is... Well, it's a bit worrying. We don't know how Sanchez is going to get on. I've used him maybe twice off the bench, and it's not worked well for me. So, we'll see. Maybe he has a really good performance here against Atalanta. I'm positive that the focus should definitely be on the Juve game. That's why we're sticking with this lineup. I am positive. I'm also quite positive that four minutes will be fine for this career mode, just purely because of the quality of player. I'll probably be able to find it, I don't know, relatively easy to score or create chances, which means then we will have... Decent highlights. I mean, already moving the football here is um, it's a little bit easier than when we're managing Salford. I'm not going to take Atalanta lightly, though. Knowing, oh my god, that is very, very poor play from us here at the start. And what a save from Anana. As I say, I'm not going to take Atalanta lightly because they could cause us problems. There's a reason they were top of the table. And, you know, we got to worry about this a little bit. I still... Would love to get to that. Oh, my God, I don't... Why does a skip just not let a Nana grab it? Skip started his career good, though, so I can't really complain. And Baku were gifted a good opportunity today. I actually really like him. He's been a good player so far. Atalanta with all the opportunities in the early stage of this match. Oh, here comes Dries Mertens with the shot now. We're giving him too much room straight down the middle. It feels like... He's been allowed to drift into that position way too easily. Pointing me that Atalanta might cause me a lot of issues in this match. Dries Mertens, what a ball in that is! And Anna saves it. Muriel will pick the ball up. Oh, we've done really bad at trying to tackle Muriel there. And Brazovic in the end sees the ball go out for a corner. I can't believe how poorly we've started this game in terms of putting our tackles in. I mean, non-existent. They've not been good enough. Get that away, and Baku. Well, here they come. It's Dries Mertens again causing all the issues in this game. Boga. Can't get it across. Well, in screen, yeah, that's better. We need to defend more like that. That's going to have to be weighted perfectly. And Sanchez just is very, very slow. That is our big issue at the minute. If we have a quicker striker there, we're in. I've got no doubt about that in my mind. 
Maybe even if that's Lataro we are in, we are in trouble. That's what we're in here. Bastoni didn't keep it, and we're kind of getting away with this again. They're absolutely pounding on the door every time they come forward, and our passing and our play has not been good enough. And Baku's touch there is shocking. Yuri Mina dealt with that easily. Oh, Muriel's gone beyond. This is very dangerous. And Anna's going to come out for it, and he does. He blocks it. I think we will go to five minutes. There wasn't really anything a note in that first half. It was a really dull first half. To be fair, it's my first game of FIFA today, so usually I do... I don't know about you boys, but I take a little while to warm up. But it just wasn't good enough. We didn't really create anything, and the plays weren't very good. The way we're moving the ball is really bad, and this is just way too easy for them. Getting that ball in behind at the moment is just the out route for them. Liver skip. Oh, that's lovely. Damsgaard, get that across to Edin Dzeko. Edin Dzeko then back across to Correa. Oh, my God, what a save for Musso. That, without a shadow of a doubt, in my mind... Should have been a goal. I'm going to get that one out to Damsgaard, though. Damsgaard's shot will be blocked. I don't want to make substitutions too soon, but I am slowly hitting the stage here where I'm, I'm going to have to make some subs. This is definitely going to be a Barcelona-esque goal. We get away with the offside. I've seen enough of Alexis Sanchez to last a lifetime. He's just not very good on FIFA. That doesn't mean that he doesn't have an impact in real life. But on FIFA, he is not good enough. He is coming off, or he's come off, and Letaro Martinez will join us on the pitch. And I just feel a lot more confident now he's on the pitch. He's going to do a little bit better there. But, it, I mean, it was his first touch. Get up, Lotaro. That's the main thing there, right? Oh, and there we go. Lotaro Martinez. His touch again was really poor. We're seeing some poor touches here. I wonder if the patch has made the touches even worse. Imagine. Imagine they made it worse. <laughs> Surely that's not possible. We're getting in behind here, though, with Dries Mertens every single time. And it's driving me mad. Oh, this is a really good opportunity. That's not a good block. And there we go. 1-0 Atalanta. And they thoroughly deserve it. This is what happens when you don't perform. And we haven't. Had that one real good chance with Correa, though. Makes you think that should have been 1-0. It wasn't. And that's all that matters in that, really. Is that it wasn't 1-0. Well, Atalanta have just been really good at moving the football. I'll tell you that. They've just been really, really good at moving the ball like that. And splitting us. They're going to split us again there, are they? The ball roll. Oh, the ball roll was so unlucky. Oh, we got so unlucky there with conceding that. I think it, Brazovic tackles and gets the ball back. And it bounces off of Skriniar. We're going to see it closer here. This is it now. Brazovic wins it. And then we assist them. Well, that is not a good feeling. And Atalanta are taking top of the league. And there's no way back. Not with the amount of time we've got left in this game. It would take something absolutely ridiculous for us to get back into this and to be honest with you we haven't there we go we get the ball away again we just haven't shown it well that was an abysmal performance going into two really big cup games need to see more out of the boys i don't know what was going on there we just we couldn't string passes together we didn't really create that much and at Atlanta, every time they came at me, we didn't stand a chance. Well, we need to just try and put that one behind us now as quickly as humanly possible. Focus on this semi-final because a trophy will go a long way to making us feel better. And getting to the final will make us feel a lot better as well. But we've only had a two-day gap here as well, which is going to make this even more difficult. So this is going to be the start of 11. We are up into five minutes and I'm going to stick with five minutes now, I think. Just so that I can give you guys more highlights that are less me waffling and highlights of us actually creating chances, scoring goals, or them creating chances and scoring goals. Hopefully that's not going to be the case. We do have the lead here. It's a very strong start in 11. Martinez next to Skamaka up top. Barella back in the cam position. We need to defend better in this one. A lot better. And we also need to just offer a little bit more going forward. The update personally doesn't seem to have changed anything. So that's fine. We'll, we'll keep working on these sliders. But I'm pretty happy with where they're at. The difficulty level and whatnot. And I think we'll probably stick to what we've got with them for now. Denzel Dumfries being in this one today, I think, fills me with that little bit more confidence. Just because he's more of a compact player, he's going to be more of a problem player. I thought I'd done the right decision there. Maybe not. Rashford shoots early. And Anna's equal to that. If they're just going to pop off shots from that distance, I'm not too worried. Out to Denzel. Denzel's touch was great. Back into Ceballos. I spot a wild Letaro Martinez. Oh, that would have just taken the tie. Maybe beyond Juve. I feel like that ball was just a little bit too behind Lataro, though, maybe. He didn't catch it very well, did he? It's an easy save for Chesney, and we all know. We all know. If you've been watching this series, Chesney is ridiculous in goal, and I imagine he's going to be the same again in this episode. Oh, no, made a mistake. Denzel manages to get on the mistake. It's not a bad ball across. I don't know what Brazovic was doing there. He kind of stuck in mud. Lataro Martinez over the top. 
Skamaka's touch is going to have to be good. It wasn't great. If he's clever enough, he's not. What was that pass, Skamaka? Trying to get it back through to Vraze uh, Brazovic. Skamaka there, finding Barella. That was lovely footwork from him. Barella's ball into Letaro Martinez. Wasn't bad. Dumfries back across. Martinez! Ah, oh, Delict is there. Maybe he should have looked for another pass across. Skamaka was wide open. I kind of don't mind this one being a stalemate, if I'm honest. It's absolutely fine with me. Brazovic into Letaro. That's good play. Round. That's good ball in. Benucci is there. We are seeing a really good defensive performance as well from Juve. This kind of happened last time we played them as well. I'm oh, about to see the first half end. Not necessarily negatively. Barella. Letaro. Oh, he's got to be better. His touch was a little bit off for Letaro Martinez. It shows signs of encouragement if we can create those chances. I tell you what, you ain't winning a header against Benucci. I will tell you that for free. You are not winning a header against Benucci. He's won absolutely everything in the air today. Really tight game in the first half. And the concentration has kicked up a notch, obviously. I don't mind that, though. I don't mind that the first half was really tight. As long as we can make this comfortable at some stage. But, you know, the scoreline as it is sees us through. Zachariah there. We haven't done good enough. That is great from Chiesa. That's a good ball across. Well in the right. And we're going to get away with this. Brazovic can clear it. Go on then, Skamaka. I'll give it back to you, mate. Oh, he's got to be better. I'm thinking about bringing Skamaka off. He's had some, some good games. This is not one of them. And that's a great save from Anana. We're 60 minutes in here. And there has been absolutely nothing happening. It has been <laughs> a really weird game of football. One that we are winning. But it, it's been a weird game. I keep giving the ball away. I'm making really sloppy decisions. I feel like a lot of this at the minute in terms of us creating is on me because I'm just making it silly choices. I'm not seeing the right passes. I'm not making the right the right moves, the right reads like I usually would. That's usually gone away after like one game. But unfortunately, for some strange reason, it's still here after that one game for me right now. I think the squad is certainly going to need some, some uplift when we get the opportunity that's good. That's really good. Denzel Dumfries now would have really just capped off what was a poor performance and given us the final. We're going to see Juve make a sub, and it's Dybala on. Didn't Dybala get sent off? How can Dybala come on? I'm positive he got sent off. I'm really not sure who got sent off then. I'm absolutely confused. I don't know who got sent off then, but we're going to make a double sub. Dzeko coming on in Damsgaard. Perisic's just been a little bit off the pace, and, you know... Skamaka has been awful. Zedin Dzeko puts that one over the bar. We've seen some good performances out of Edin, so I feel comfortable bringing him on to have an impact. He's just a bit tired, which hopefully won't affect him. Ball over the top there from Danilo. Oh, that's a poor header into Dybala. And what a finish that is. I'm sure he shouldn't even be on the pitch, but there we go. Juve are right back in this and tie it up. It's a really poor defensive header, I think, from Dumfries. That's just not good enough. The ball's lofted over. It should be easy. He gives it straight to Dybala. What a finish. Well, that has put us really in a poor position because we've not played well in this match. We've really not played well in this match. And our passing has been horrendous. Our decision-making once again there has been horrendous. The press of Juve has been brilliant. Juve's pressing has been fantastic. They've absolutely smothered me. No time on the ball whatsoever. And... Look at that, 89% pass accuracy. It's not the greatest, but it's still pretty good, the pass accuracy. But we are in trouble. Danny Sabalos wins it back, but to no avail to nobody. And the ball has come on once again for Juve and changed the game. Oh, this is dangerous. And the block will see it go out for a corner. We're not dealing with them, are we at all? I think at this stage, we'd be lucky to get to extra time. They're brought on Moise Keane. I think they've just got more threats. That's going to be giving us a foul, surely. Well, what can they do with a free kick? Get to that, Anana. Okay, we won't get to it. I will play it forward, though. You've got to get to that dams guard. He does. What can he do now? It's just no one. Look at this. They're smothering us, and there's no one to play the ball to. Brazovic. Back out to dams guard. Dams guard into Edin Dzeko, and the ball back to Barella is awful. We're going to get it to Dumfries. Back into Ceballos. Then in to Letaro Martinez, who might just have put us through to the final. Of course, it was going to be Letaro Martinez, who finally got the breakthrough for us. He's so important to this team at the moment. I don't know how we'd do anything without that man. And there we go. We are back in the lead. It was really well worked, to be honest with you. It was good passing play. Letaro gets free, and it's a lovely finish. Well, we've got to hold on now, and that's the big thing. And I'm, I'm really... 
I'm quite infuriated why Dabala came on. I'm sure he got sent off. I am positive. He got sent off and then we scored. And then he's been allowed to play this second leg. Well, are Juve back to corruption again, are they? Who knows? But I'm really frustrated with that Chiesa shot. We'll go into the arms of Anana. We're going to find out how much time is going to be added on here. But that should be us done and dusted and getting away with this. The Coppa Italia final awaits us. I imagine at the end of this season, that was very difficult. I'm still I'm still angry right now, guys, about the Dybala thing. I'm positive. I'll have to rewind the tape. I'll have to go back and look at it. But I am 100% positive he got sent off in the first leg and shouldn't even touch the pitch here in the second leg. He's always a difference maker when he comes on for them. He really is our difference maker, though, Letaro Martinez getting the job done when it was needed. I think that game does show, though, how far behind we are, how much work still needs to be put into this squad. This squad is not the greatest. It's an old squad that's not the greatest as well. Napoli awaits us in the final. I am wrong. Udinese awaits us in the final. And annoyingly, it's three days after we play Juve again. But I'm looking forward to that. Udinese, a side that will be boy with confidence after getting to the final, but I thoroughly expect us to beat them and be lifting at least one trophy this season. Who knows, we might even lift the league trophy as well. Here we go, then. second leg against PSG. This one is going to be absolutely crazy. I have no idea what's going to happen. That's their starting 11. They're all fully fit and ready to go. We're a tiny bit tired. We did play midweek and drew. This is going to be the starting 11, though. Correa, Martinez, Skamaka being given the chance again. I feel like Edin Dzeko's tired, so it's better to bring him off the bench and him have a late impact than start him. That's my thought process. I'm going with Damsgaard as well because I think we're going to need pace down the wing in this match. No doubt we're going to need pace down the wing in this match. I'm nervous. I hope you are as well. Let's get into this one. We've got home advantage, right? So a big Champions League tie at the San Siro. Obviously, this looks stunning. It's all important that we can go out there and prove a point. We can get the fans on side very quickly and maybe make our way through to the next round of the Champions League. It'd be huge, right? It would be massive for Inter to knock out PSG. And hopefully PSG will do what PSG usually do and fall short in this tie. And maybe we get a bit of an easier one for the next round. I'd like to go as far as possible, but I'm not silly. This squad isn't the greatest. It's got some great players but it is not the greatest. Oh, I'm already feeling the pressure of what's going to be Messi, Mbappe and Neymar running at me. Already, I can't get the ball here off of Mbappe. It's taking seven players to get to him. And then we have to bring him down and then Messi does that. He goes beyond three players. And in the end, we get the football back. And that's going to be a side effect of the way this game goes. Lutaro Martinez now. This might be a side effect of their performance though. Damsgaard pulls it back. I'm going to drill that one across. Ah, Edin Dzeko. Oh, sorry, Skamaka. I can get it there. I'm just instantly so used to Edin Dzeko being there. I think Skamaka needs to not rush his passes. Maybe hold on to the football a bit more because he's just not a very technical passer. He's not a good passer either. So if I give him the opportunity to be on the ball a little bit more, don't give Messi that. That back heel was filthy. Absolutely. I'm not going to be okay in this game, lads. I'm telling you that right now. Damsgaard's got to be quicker there. But, I mean, he is up against Hakimi. Nearly a mistake at the back from the defenders. That's what we need to hope for, right? That they make mistakes in this match. Free kick that Messi is standing over. Now, it's not a good position for a shot. And nor will it be a shot. Oh, my God. He's just run past me. He just runs past me. I can't do anything about Messi. He literally just runs past me. Ball rolls or he just runs the ball straight through me. And I don't exist to him. And that's going to be offside. That was a poor choice, really. Oh, it's not been given. Skamaka. This is massive. Skamaka. Oh, my God. He wasn't given. I thought he was a mile offside. And Skamaka is going to score probably the most important goal of his career here as we take the lead against PSG. And that's what we need to do in this game. Just hope that we can hold them off, sit deep, win the ball back, and then get it forward as quickly as possible. Great ball from Letaro Martinez. I am positive Skamaka was offside. Could be completely wrong. Doesn't matter. He was calm, cool, and collected in front of goal. And he gives Inter Milan the lead. Big season for Skamaka. He's had moments. He's had opportunities. He's still young and very young into this Inter Milan system. So I'm pretty sure over the years we'll see more from him. And he'll just get better and better. This again is what we need to avoid. That is great from Bastoni. Skamaka. That's a lovely idea, but look at this. We have to not let them close us down like that. We need to be smarter with that movement. We did trade goals the first time we played them. 
We scored, they scored, we scored, they scored. Hopefully that's not going to be the case in this game. It's just going to be we score. Nothing else happens. Referee blows the whistle now. Messi there. He's been marked tightly. Hakimi. Tell you what, Bastoni started this game very, very brightly. Well, come on then, Skamaka. Show me what you've got. Damsgaard. If he times it right, he has done. Lataro Martinez now holds that up brilliantly. He's going to get it through to Skamaka for another all-important moment. Skamaka actually does well there to hold it up. Gets it across to Correa. Correa can't find a shot. Oh, that bounced about everywhere. That was much better from Skamaka. He's got to do that. He's not got the technical ability to move the ball really quickly, to take it in his stride with his first touch. So he has to hold on to it. He has to use his, his brute strength, I guess. Brazovic there, great footwork. We'll get that out to Correa. And now it's just a case of, look at this. We're just being tracked all over the shop. I can't find a way out. Well, this is a great ball into Neymar. And Denzel Dumfries did enough, I think, there to stop him. And Bastoni, surely... Wins that one there. Oh, Damsgaard. It's not the game to play a risky pass or to try a risky pass. Dumfries there. Tried to clear it. Messi's going to surely try and play that into Mbappe. Messi! Oh, my God. Messi is Messi, right? You can't stand off him. I feel like we were doing the right thing. It was an easy ball into Mbappe unless we stood off him. He headbutts the corner flag. We are trading goals once again, boys. Leo Messi is a nightmare. Good finish. I'm sure PSG fans in real life would love to see him performing how he is in this save for PSG. And that ties things back up. I kind of wish away goal was a thing. It's uh, it's not anymore. If away goal was a thing, we would be going through still. Damsgaard straight in. Correa there. Tried to lift it over. We're going to still have it, though, with Damsgaard straight across to Denzel Dumfries. And if he's onside, it will be 2-1 going in at the half. And he is onside. And it is 2-1 into Milan going in at half time. And these games against PSG are absolutely hectic. And I love it because it's entertaining for you, boys. What a ball in from Damsgaard. A lovely header from Denzel. He's headed it straight at Donnarumma, to be fair. He should do better. I think Donnarumma will... Be a little bit angry at halftime that he's palmed that into the back of his own net. I feel like that couldn't have gone better for a first half. Yeah, we conceded. I mean, Messi does messy things, right? But I, I just feel like that could not have gone better for us. Well, here we go. I mean, another goal for us would be huge, being the home side. Can we exploit this? What is, and really probably shouldn't be, very leaky back line that they've got here. Again, it, it definitely shouldn't be. Lataro Martinez... Good luck getting the ball off of him. Denzel now whips that one across to Skamaka. And Donnarumma is equal to it. This time stays strong when Skamaka's in the box, though. Getting that ball out to Denzel's so much more important because, I mean, look at that header. Outlet everyone. Now, I just haven't been good with corners recently. I'd love to get good at them again. Skriniar. Oh, he's just beyond the post. So that's where they're going to cause me the problems, right? Messi and Mbappe both, to be fair. Oh, Bastoni there. I felt like I was going to win it. Someone needs to get out wide to Hakimi. But mainly, just stop him from putting the ball in. Bastoni's got back there now, and he gets a foot onto that. That is massive. And that's not so good of a pass. Can I get it out wide? I can. Denzel Dumfries. No, it's not the right ball. It was great play. You've got to break away quickly because they've got nobody back when we break away. Why is nobody marking Messi? I think we might have just got back in time. Linkovic, Savic, Neymar now. Well in, Skriniar. Denzel Dumfries gets it away. And we could breathe a little bit. We could breathe a lot here. Correa's done really well. Go on then, Lataro. He didn't make the run, did he, quick enough? We're still going to get it out wide to him. Lataro Martinez now. He's going to ping that one across. And look at the acres for Damsgaard. What a massive goal for Damsgaard. And that's why he joined Inter Milan to be part of these big moments. And it is 3-1 Inter Milan. They've huffed and they puffed of PSG, but they haven't done well enough. And Inter Milan here will make it 3-1. And surely we are through to the next round. Not sure how, but we look like we're going to be through to the next round. I can finally make some subs now. That's great play from Lutaro Martinez. Good ball into Damsgaard. I was a bit worried because it's Damsgaard. He hasn't really been a goal getter for us. He did put a great cross in earlier on for a goal. Oh, thank you. I don't often make three subs at once, but we need some fresh legs on. And I'm sorry, Damsgaard, but you need to come off. You're absolutely knackered. I'm going to bring on DeMarco again. Hopefully he can just defend. That's all I need now is just to defend smartly, which I feel like we've done. Apart from the messy goal, I feel like we've actually defended really well. And that's probably one of our strengths. Apart from having depth at the back, 
one of our strengths of this team probably is the back line. When you look at Bastoni, uh, De Vries, Grignard, it's our strength is the back line as Bastoni wins it. Again, he's done that so often. And now, once again, there might be a breakaway if Skamaka can get the right ball. He can't. And Letaro is absolutely knackered at this stage. I feel for him, but we've got to keep him out there. I probably shouldn't be trying to play them now. I should probably be looking to hold on to the football. Barella's has not even really played any forward runs. He's literally just been sat back defending the entire time. Think of it, Savage now. Neymar gets that into Mbappe. What a save for Manana. Oh, Neymar's done brilliantly. He's found Messi. Messi! Oh, my God. I tried to just show him near post. I thought that was what was best. Anana saves it. There's enough highlights just in this one match for the full episode. I was thinking after the Juve game, I was like, ah, there's probably not enough happened there. We're most likely going to have to play four games. Now we're on five minutes. It should be three games every episode. I was like, oh, we're going to have to play an extra game. Not after this PSG one, clearly. There's been so much drama, so much action, which is... Oh, God, I'm in trouble here. Hopefully, that's a good ball up. It might be a good ball up. It's not. It wasn't a bad one. It was a good idea, actually. Uh, we just need to stop them now in their tracks. And Bappe's turned. Do not let him turn. Do not let him stay turned. This is good play. Neymar, well in Skriniar. And again, that's just showing our back line the fight they've got. Neymar, Bastoni was there. And Anana saves it again. The pressure is coming at me thick and fast, boys. I can't get out of there either. Pochettino is staring down the face of another knockout here in the Champions League. And it would be terrible for him as Umbaku does brilliantly there. So far, we are getting a little bit of a taste of how good they are. Umbaku, though, has been the right substitution defensively here. He's putting in a right shift as he wins it back again. And that is very good play. Letaro now. Skamaka needs to get that out wide. Here comes Umbaku. Umbaku's ball to Letaro Martinez was brilliant. Letaro. They're over and across to Demarco. Into Milan. Make it 4-1. And they're running right at the San Siro. And that will be us through. 100% now. We weathered the storm. We weathered the onslaught. It's been all PSG this game. But we make it 4-1. And we are through. And this is a great ball in from Letaro Martinez. And what a header from Demarco. A left back. Unbelievable header. What a feeling that is. Do we deserve to be 4-1 up? Absolutely not. But this is what happens when you don't convert your chances. And they leave that kind of space for me. They've just left so much room in behind because they're just putting so many bodies forward. And a massive round of applause for the bat line in this one. They're the man of the match. Don't get me wrong. Going forward, we still have to convert. But the man of the match is the bat line. We might be in again here. And Baku goes in. This would be huge for him. And it's going to hit the back of the net. It's absolutely falling apart for PSG. And Baku gets his first goal for Inter Milan. I don't know what's going on with PSG here. They have fallen apart at the back. And Baku goes clean through. Again, this should be added. It was unbelievable work from Letaro Martinez in the center of the park to get the ball to Barella. And Donnarumma's had a nightmare. Well, they don't come much bigger than that. Umbaku, Damsgaard, Skamaka, three new players coming in the team and scoring goals. Damarco with that header. Letaro Martinez being so impactful in this one. But I will not forget the work that the bat line put in here. We're going to see how many shots PSG had. They were absolutely rampant. But we win 5 1. Can you imagine what a night that would have been as well at the San Siro? Absolutely unbelievable. I, I just can't understand how we've managed this. It's fantastic work from the boys. PSG there having 10 shots, not converting them. I I'm just over the moon. What a performance. That doesn't deserve a like. I don't know what does on this episode. But we kept the wins up. We went on to beat Cagliari and Udinese. Udinese, we play in the cup final. So it's good to see what we did. And we will take on Wolfsburg. So it is a little bit of an easier run now towards what might be a semi-final in the Champions League. Unfortunately for us, we do play Napoli in that time. So it's sandwiched around some really big games. We've got Lazio coming up, AC Milan again. I'm not sure how many more we play in the league. But, I mean, we've still got a shout of potentially winning the league. It's a lot slimmer than it was before, but it's still within reach. I do want to take a quick look, though, before the end of this episode at some of the better performers so far this season. Letaro Martinez, it was always expected, right? Letaro Martinez was the most I was excited about using was this man, Letaro Martinez. 23 goals, 11 assists, absolutely beasting. Got up by four already, but Edin Dzeko, who's gone down by one, 
has been absolutely brilliant. And my biggest issue moving forward is how do we replace that man? Now, you guys have been giving some great suggestions, so keep that up. I think Correa we might sign permanently because he's just been so good for us. Hopefully, he's not going to cost me an absolute fortune. There is no buy fee. I've already looked. Although, in real life, I believe there is. Barella there with 11 assists as well. He's been fantastic. But let's not slouch. Skamaka has gone up by three. He's 23. He could be the next Edin Dzeko. We just need to see a little bit more composure out of him. And we're training him to do just that. I highlight Damsgaard as well. 21 up three already. He's going to be important because, of course, Perisic is getting on. He's gone down one already. And although he'll still be here next season, I think another left-sided player is definitely going to need to be brought in. Uh, we did have eyes on Turam, and I still actually really like the idea of bringing in Marcus Turam to this inter side. He had just moved to Valencia, but of course, next season, he will be available and potentially be the player we pick up. I'm also tempted by Luis Alberto in the cam position. We'll have to see how Hakan does when he comes back into the team. But again, if you want to suggest any players that aren't already on this list, get them in. Get your suggestions in and we will try and do the deals that we can. I want to be fairly realistic, but we're not going to be realistic, if that makes sense. We're not going to go crazy with the transfers we go for. I'm not going to be signing Mbappe, Neymar, players like that, but we're also not going to go 100% realistic because I don't know where Inter go in the future because there's actually quite a big rebuild that needs to be done there. It sounds weird saying they need a rebuild when we're having a relatively decent season. In the title race, only just knocked out by Liverpool, but they're older. They're going to need to bring these players through at some stage, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I appreciate your support on this series. Series. Also, if you want to leave feedback, because you guys that are still here watching this video right now, you're the legends, you're the OGs, you're the guys that are going to stick around and help this channel become as big as humanly possible. This is exactly what we want. We want to be full time, right? But give me feedback on who you think should be the next team we do after Inter. I big teams only, really. We're going to stick with having our RTG and then doing some bigger team saves like the Inter one. Let me know any teams that you think would be decent. Some of the ideas I've got is maybe Monaco or Leon because they're not doing so well. Wolfsburg is another one that I've got in my head. I also got the idea of maybe doing some leagues that aren't in the top five leagues of the game. Maybe doing Ajax, PSV, teams like that. I appreciate all your feedback always. I appreciate all your support always. I'll see you in the next episode where hopefully we can take that step further in the Champions League.